welcome to my Shosher Engines. In today's the final diagnosis um, for this Nissan MP300. This is the one in my last video, guys. Uh, it's come in with a number of faults, a number of complaints from the customer. Mainly that when he's towing, he's overheating, and we do know the system is pressurising. So let's get into it and let's fix it. Right guys, so what we're going to start with is I'm going to release the pressure. Did you hear that? Now let's hope for the owner. The engine's cold by the way. We've deliberately done this because the engines you've got to test them hot and cold. So it's imperative that we've, we've let this cool down. Um, so now we've took the pressure out of the system. And all I'm going to do is the, what is coming back at the minute with um, a water pump failure which is these two pumps down here now what happens is is when the coolant pressurizes it can put a fault code on them pumps anyway so i'm not just going to dive in and, and throw a set of pumps at it because uh, they're about 320 quid for the pair and so our channel and our videos are about saving time and money in repairs now this bottle of water is what was in the back of the car. So we know the customers had an issue for a wee while. So, like I said, I've cleared the fault code. And all I'm gonna do now is start the car. And then we're gonna do a combustion check. So guys, doing this with the engine hot and cold. If this stuff turns green, it's not good news, I'm afraid. Well guys, it's not good news for the owner of this vehicle. This head gasket has been fucked. Like, as I've been telling you previously in, in, in all the videos, let me turn this engine off. Right, these bad boys are not easy to fix. You can't just go for the head gasket and expect to fix that car. This has got a DPF issue, which has caused this problem. So, once we've dealt with the head gasket and the pressurising of the coolant system, well then we'll move on to that. If you ignore that, it'll just do exactly the same thing in a matter of a few weeks time or as soon as the vehicle's put under heavy load. So it's quite clear we know exactly what we're doing with this vehicle now and uh, we'll get up and, and get the vehicle back on the road and back to the customer as soon as possible. Um, the most important thing guys, with the DPF vehicles, the engines themselves are pretty good. They are really, really good. Feedback on the engines, the main body of the engine is absolutely brilliant. But the emissions side of it is that's where it gets iffy. So I'm warning you, do not delete anything off the ECU, off an MP300. You are just going to make the situation worse and kill that car. Trust me. What it is with an EGR system and your, your um, emissions system is it only works at a particular temperature. And this engine controls the flow of the air gases, exhaust gases around the engine for them to reburn, and that's what makes them um, 
more environmentally friendly to get the emissions down so this the fuel system in this one is what's killed this car and we also might be going down a faulty injection route but there you go you've seen it for your own two eyes how to diagnose engine failures on an mp300 right if you need my help and assistance at all please feel free feel free to give me a call in the number listed below or you can email me uh, again that's in the description below thanks for watching come again oh yeah we've got a cab start next <laughs>